why it alienates us from people and from God. But we can't live this life on our own. That's why pride is such a destructive force. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond and welcome again to Fresh. Let's face it, pride is such an ugly thing. When pride grips our lives, we find ourselves thinking so much about ourselves that we don't have room in our reckoning for anybody else. Now, I'm a bit of an expert on this. I spent much of the first 36 years of my life absolutely full of it. And much of my life since then being rehabilitated from all that pride by the grace of God. Back in those early years, honestly, the only thing I ever thought about much was me, what I wanted, what I was going to do, what I felt, numero uno. Your needs, your feelings, hey, they didn't even come close to mattering to me. And then there was someone else that I didn't have room for in my heart either, God. The God who created the universe, the God who created me, the God who sent his son to die for me. No, I just didn't have room for him. Psalm 10 verse four, the wicked are too proud to ask God for help. He doesn't fit into their plans. What a great piece of wisdom. The reason my life was such a mess back then, the reason so many people's lives are such a mess today, is that God doesn't fit into their plans. Their pride prevents them from asking God for his help. Do you mind if I ask you, as you make plans for your future, does God figure in them or not? As you struggle with the things that you're struggling with, do you ask God for his help or not? Seriously, that's God's word, fresh for you today. Pride has a vice-like grip on many a life. Pride is ruining many a life, but it's not an easy thing to let go of. Believe you me, I know. But God's word has the power to set you free. That's why I love to send you your fresh devotional each day, a scripture verse and some words of inspiration, hope and encouragement to help you be all that God made you to be. It's completely free. Stop by at ChristianityWorks.com for instant access. That web address again is ChristianityWorks.com. I'll catch you next time.